This is our presentation for the paper titled Limitations and Divergences in Approaches for Asian-Oriented Modeling and Programming from the authors Arthur Freitas, Rafael Cardoso, Renata Vieira, and Rafael Bordini. This paper shares our experiences in applying two well-known methodologies that play different roles in Asian-Oriented Software Engineering, modeling with Prometheus and programming with Giacomo. First, we model a realistic multi-agent scenario using Prometheus to support its design and specification. Afterwards, Giacomo was used as the development platform for programming our case study. Then, we were able to compare the outcome of combining these approaches, allowing us to identify some gaps, limitations and conceptual mismatches when such approaches are used together to engineer a complex case study. Producing software code for complex and highly detailed systems directly in programming environments without first using any specification, modeling or design mechanism can cause many problems. Although traditional methodologies can be used with these new multi-agent system development platforms, they may diverge in several points due to their differences regarding abstraction levels and, thus, it is important to be aware if such combination can be successfully used and which are the advantages, limitations and consequences of doing so. We have applied two agent technologies in a complex case study in order to comparatively investigate the modeling and programming approaches for multi-agent system. The case study allows us to point out and discuss the challenges we face during this process, as well as possible ways to overcome them. Our case study is the multi-agent programming context of 2016, an annual competition carried out as an attempt to stimulate research in the area of multi-agent system development and programming. First, Prometheus is employed to specify our models, which are, then, used to code the system in the Giacomo programming framework. In this context, it's important to be aware of divergences when these approaches are used in the development of complex multi-agent systems. As a result, we point out lessons learned from using these technologies in combination. While Prometheus is a methodology for modeling intelligent agent system, the Prometheus Design Tool, PDT, is a graphical tool that follows the Prometheus methodology in order to build the design of multi-agent system. Prometheus contains three phases, system specification, architecture design, and detailed design, as shown in this image. The system specification focuses on identifying basic system functionalities. The architectural design uses the outputs from the previous phase to determine the system's agent and how they will interact. Thus, it establishes the structure of the system being developed. The detailed design looks at the internal of each agent and how it will accomplish its tasks within the overall system. In other words, it establishes the plans that the agents require in order to achieve their goals. Giacomo combines three separate technologies into a framework for multi-agent system programming that makes use of multiple levels of abstraction, enabling the development of robust multi-agent system. Each technology, JSON, Cartago, and Moisey, was developed separately for a number of years and are fairly established on their own when dealing with their respective abstraction level. JSON is responsible for the agent level and its extension of the agent speak language. Cartago is based on the agents and artifacts model and deals with the environment level. Artifacts are used to represent the environment and agents can focus on these artifacts to obtain percepts and execute operations on them. Moisey handles the organizational level, allowing an explicit specification of the organization in a multi-agent system. This level adds new elements to the multi-agent system, such as roles, groups, organizational goals, missions, and norms. Our case study is based on the multi-agent programming context scenario of 2016. In this scenario, Two teams of agents compete against each other in order to accomplish logistic tasks in the streets of a realistic city. Completing tasks rewards the team with money, and the team with, most, with the most money by the end of the simulation is the winner. In our simulation, the teams have four agents, with each agent having a different type. The types of agents are car, drone, motorcycle and truck. These types define the agent speed, if they move by the air or land, battery charge, maximum load, 
and which tools they can use. The map consists contains facilities of several types, such as shops, warehouse, charging stations, and storage facilities. A task can require the acquisition, assembly, and transportation of goods. Items can be bought, crafted, given to a teammate, stored, delivered as part of a job completion, recovered from a storage facility, and dumped. In Prometheus, the specification usually starts with the analysis overview diagram, which identifies actors, percepts, actions, and scenarios. Actors are external entities that will use or interact in some way with the system. Percepts are the inputs to each scenario. Actions are produced by the system for each scenario, and scenarios describe the interaction and correspond to the main functionalities of the system. This slide shows the analysis overview diagram. When mapping Prometheus to Giacomo, actors correspond to the artifacts of Cartago, and actions can be seen as the operations of artifacts. The round procedure scenario models that engines interact with the server actor by receiving the round start and round end perceptions. A round consists of a series of steps in which agents receive the request action perception and then send an action to the actor. We use a contract -like protocol mechanism to distribute tasks among agents. The task board is where the tasks are announced. Each announced task has a respective contract neck -like board, where agents make bid and the task is awarded to the best bid. We observed the following limitations and divergences in this diagram so far. In our case study, what is modeled as actor in Prometheus is translated to artifacts in Giacomo. However, there is not any visual way to represent that an actor, an agent, or a scenario can instantiate an actor. In other words, none of these elements can connect directly with an actor. In Cartago, artifacts can be created by agents, other artifacts, or when the multi-agent system starts its execution. We did not find any way to represent these things without having to change the metamodel of Prometheus or the implementation of PDT. Another limitation uh, is that when using Cartago, both agents and artifacts can execute operations, uh, which are the actions. However, it's not possible to represent that an actor can execute an action in the Prometheus analysis overview diagram. For example, we could, not, we could not found a way to make a connection from an actor to an action. This diagram allows us only to represent that agents can execute actions and that actors receive actions. To overcome this limitation, a scenario must be created between these elements. So the actor connects with the scenario and the scenario connects with the action. Another point, is that relations between two actors cannot be represented. Thus, we cannot specify hierarchies among artifacts, for example, to define specializations or generalizations of artifacts. The same limitation is true for hierarchies of agents and hierarchy of roles. The system overview diagram ties together the agents, events, and shared data objects. Agents perform actions, receive percepts, bring together roles, exchange messages, and participate in protocols. Protocols define interaction between agents in terms of the allowable sequence of messages passed between them and the interactions with things outside the system. In this system overview diagram, we have vehicle, initiator, and bidder as agents. The elements introduced here are propagated and detailed better in further phases of Prometheus. As limitations we found, we can mention that protocols and actors cannot be visually connected in any diagram, except in the sequence diagrams. Moreover, it's not possible to define what triggers or initializes a protocol, as this information cannot be included in any diagram. This slide depicts the sequence diagram for the contract neck protocol. Our contract neck protocol starts when an initiator agent performs an announce action in a task board artifact. Then, the contract neck board produces a task percept for bidders that will bid for it. The contract neck board controls the deadline and sends the end of bid percept to the initiator, which will get bids and award the best offer. Deadline is achieved when all agents that are able to bid do so or when a timeout is reached. In the end, the bidder receives a winner percept, indicating who won the task. A limitation found in this diagram is that it is not 
it's not possible to connect two actors in the sequence diagram. This is needed to define, for example, that an actor creates another actor. In our case, task board make, make instances of contract connect boards when an initiator announces a task. This image shows a snippet of the agent overview diagram for bidder agents, focusing on the bid procedure capability and its corresponding uh, capability overview diagram. The bid procedure is responsible to analyze the context and calculate the, a bid for a task. Therefore, it receives as input the percept of a task and data about the map and vehicles, and produces as output the bid action, storing its value as a belief. The focus action happens on a contract net board artifact, which receives the bid action. Among the vehicle features, it's the vehicle speed, load capacity, battery, tools, and so on. This image shows code in Jacom which corresponds to the diagrams in Prometheus. The plans in PDT are directly converted to plans in JSON with their corresponding triggering events and plan bodies composed of actions, goals, and data manipulation. Visually, the diagrams lacks some graphical notation of ordering among the elements in a plan in the agent overview and capability overview diagram. Plans are usually defined as an orderly or step-by-step -step conception or proposal for accomplishing an, a goal. A visual notation that could represent these things would be very interesting for modeling plans of multi-agent systems in diagrams of Prometheus. We now discuss some aspects that did not contribute significantly during the modeling or developing of our case study. The scenario overview diagram shows only one kind of element set which are the scenarios, and they cannot be linked, which is not very useful from the viewpoint of graphical modeling. When clicking on a scenario, it's possible to define its properties in textual formats and the steps of the scenario in tables, which are not very visually friendly formats. According to the papers of Prometheus, the steps of scenarios can assume one of the following types, percept, action, goal, or sub-scenario. However, PDT allow rules to be steps of scenario and the meaning for this is not clear for us. We think that protocols should be able to be added as steps of a scenario and currently PDT does not allow for such thing. Another limitation we found is that it's not possible to define properties or additional information in relationships among PDT elements. For example, consider that we could link roles, then we could say that they are disjoint or that a role specializes another, and so on for other types of relationships. Moise allows to specify such relations on organizational elements that Prometheus, in its current version, is not addressing. The goal overview diagram addresses only goals. Since PDT creates a goal for each scenario, and the scenarios correspond to the main functionalities of the system, the goals are best viewed as systems use cases. However, Later diagrams treat goals as, di as triggering of plans, and then goals are better interpreted as individual desires of agents. We believe that these differences views on goals can be confusing and their meaning should be defined more precisely. The PDI message addresses only goals, however, messages could also transmit beliefs and plans when we are considering Giacomo. Plans can have only one triggering condition, and then there is not a direct and simple graphical representation of the context for plans. For example, predicates that must be true to consider a given plan applicable. Also, it would be interesting to represent conditions semantically different from the plan trigger that can lock or unlock the execution of a plan, such as the presence of a belief resulted from a percept of something. For example, vehicles can have a plan that waits until a percept of request actions comes from the server? Two entities cannot have the same name, for example, a goal and a plan. This impossibility can result in more advantages than limitations, but in our case it was the opposite. For example, a goal can be the triggering condition of a plan in JSON, so we would like to use the same name to refer to these two different but related entities. Also, it's not possible to have references to non-existing entities. 
Since creating a reference will create the entity if it does not exist, and when an entity is, is deleted, all references to it are deleted as well. This propagation of changes is usually a good thing, but it can generate unexpected results when we would like to change something only in one place, or we are not aware about other changes that resulted from a single modification. Among our related work, we can mention uh, one paper that uses Prometheus, Omaze, and Tropos, three different methodologies for agent-oriented modeling, to develop to model a conference management system. We differ from this paper since, besides modeling a more complex scenario, we focus on pointing out limitations and divergences of Prometheus with regards to Giacomo. Therefore, rather than showing cases that could be successfully modeled, our paper highlights and discusses situations that were impossible to model or that turned out to be more confusing than enlightening. Thus, instead of comparing different alternatives for agent-oriented modeling, our work investigates the relation of one modeling approach combined with a programming one. Prometheus ILS allows the integrated development of the three multi-agent system dimensions, agent, environment, and organization. It extends Prometheus to include concepts that improve the modeling and cogeneration of the environment and organization dimension for Giacomo programming platform, where Giacomo concepts were used to improve Prometheus development process, to ensure that concepts used during the design and analysis stages will be used in the implementation stage. We differ from this paper since we show limitations of PDT. We conducted an empirical evaluation of existing agent-oriented software engineering approaches, instead of proposing new ones. We used a multi-agent system case study to highlight a number of discrepancies between the paradigms behind methodologies for agent-oriented software engineering and programming languages for multi-agent system. In particular, we focus on, Prome on Prometheus as the agent-oriented methodology and Giacomo as the framework for multi-agent programming. We highlighted some aspects of multi-agent systems not covered or not aligned by models in Prometheus when Giacomo is considered as the coding platform. The identification of mismatches between software engineering tools and programming languages can help in improving both and could result in a better alignment between them. For example, while many methodologies were proposed for agent programming in the past, they are not sufficient for new and emerging te techniques in agent programming, such as dealing with the multiple abstraction levels. An interesting continuation of our work is to explore the same case study using alternatives for Prometheus and Giacomo. We also plan on expanding our models with more detailed strategies in Prometheus for this case study. The findings described in this paper are supported by a single case study so we have to be careful to expand or generalize such discoveries for different contexts. Eventually, after trying other case studies and confirm confirming the limitations shown here, it will be possible to propose new approaches or enhancements for such agent-oriented software engineering approaches. Another interesting discussion is the relation of how similar problems exist and are have been solved over the past 20 years in general software engineering literature. A clear underst understanding of the evolution in mainstream software engineering can be crucial for evolving agent-oriented software engineering in the right direction. Thank you very much.